the Galaxy S7 Edge is the smartphone to beat in 2016. I purchased the dual SIM version of the Galaxy S7 Edge with the Exynos processor for the review as it was the version sold directly by Samsung here in Sri Lanka. Before I start my review, let's get one thing out of the way. I have been using the Galaxy S7 Edge as my primary device for 2 months now and I won't be talking about the specs much in this review. Instead, I will be talking about my actual experiences and what I liked and didn't like without taking the specs into consideration. For those of you who want to see the specs, here's a quick rundown of the specs of the Galaxy S7 Edge. In case you didn't see, I have already made two videos on the Galaxy S7 Edge earlier, so please check them out for my initial impressions with specifications as well as my unboxing video of the Galaxy S7 Edge. But if you want to know how the device holds up after a heavy geek uses it, then let's begin. Hey guys, it's Banu from Android Dollar and welcome to my full review of the Galaxy S7 Edge. Let me start off my review by talking about how amazing the Galaxy S7 Edge looks and feels in the hand. I really like how it looks. The key part of it all is the display. The Galaxy S7 Edge packs an absolutely amazing 5.5 inch QHD display. It is a pleasure to use the phone with the curved edges and it feels futuristic and I crave those edges which is one of the main reasons why I went with the Edge variant. To be honest with you, it was a bit hard to get used to the S7 Edge at first due to the two edges on the side, but after using the device for some time, it became natural. The floating effect makes me appreciate the curves every single time. You have to use the device to know what it feels like. Talking about the overall design of the Galaxy S7 Edge, it has a metal and glass design and it's quite comfortable in the hand. It has a rounded back as well and it's a pleasure to hold. The sturdy construction also allows the Galaxy S7 Edge to be IP68 water and dust resistant and in my opinion that's the cherry on top with the Galaxy S7 Edge. I dropped it in water so many times already and the phone is still working perfectly fine. One thing to note about the design of the phone is that it is slippery due to the glass construction and also it is a fingerprint magnet. But it was not a deal breaker for me and using a case or a skin helps reduce the problem. I got this D brand wood skin for my Galaxy S7 Edge. One thing I really miss on the Galaxy S7 Edge is the IR Blaster. I really hope Samsung will add it in the future Galaxy devices as it was a great feature to have. One thing I'm happy about in the Galaxy S7 Edge is the addition of the microSD card slot which is one of the most important parts for me when buying a phone. So the Galaxy S7 Edge gets my approval there instantly. I was very happy that the home button bump and the camera bump that the Galaxy S6 had has been reduced so much now. The fingerprint scanner works great as well. The Galaxy S7 Edge performs like a champ with all the powerful hardware it packs. During the review period, I put it through its limit and I was blown away with the results. No 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 no, I'm not talking about the benchmark results. I'm talking about the real life day to day use. The Galaxy S7 Edge performed impressively while managing multiple apps and multitasking. I guess the 4GB of RAM helped out a lot surely, but Samsung has done quite a lot of behind the scenes improvements here as well. If you're a long time Samsung user, you know how bad Samsung managed the apps running in the background. But with the Galaxy S7 Edge, it's mostly gone and that's awesome. I played so many games on the Galaxy S7 Edge and it was quite fun. With such a beautiful display and a powerful chip to power it all, the games ran smoothly. Even though Samsung had some gaming tools built in, I didn't use them much. Even though a lot of people blamed TouchWiz in their reviews, 
I actually don't have much to complain about it. On the Galaxy S7 Edge, TouchWiz is running on top of Android Marshmallow and it worked well for me without crashing much. There were multiple extra features built in this time around and there were more productive edge screen features built in which I use once in a way. The good thing about most of the software components this time around is that it can be disabled if you don't want to use it. So it's going to be a simple experience if you don't want any of the fancy features. The always on display option was really useful and even the array of extra tweaks along with the theme store are things I really appreciate on the Galaxy S7 Edge. Another thing Samsung needs to work on is software updates. Sometimes even the monthly Android security update wasn't pushed to the device on time. That's how can make a good device great after a few months of launching and even after the next big thing is here. Talking about the most important part of any smartphone, the camera, the unit found on the Galaxy S7 Edge was absolutely fantastic. It is rocking a 12 megapixel sensor with an aperture of f1.7 and I have to say it is the finest camera I have personally used on any smartphone to date. I would go as far as to call it the best smartphone camera available right now cause it's that good. It just produced amazing images no matter where and how I clicked it and I was never disappointed with the outcome even in low light. Double tapping the home button to launch the camera works instantly no matter what you're doing. Auto focusing was as fast as the one on my Canon 70D and it was mind blowing. A cool addition is the mechanism to use the device's display as a front facing flash. And another cool feature was the addition of motion photos which I use quite a lot. Motion photos are similar to live photos on Apple devices. There are a lot of extra features built into the camera like a dedicated pro mode along with support for capturing raw images. Selfie camera packs a punch too. Well after all of this talk there is no use of me talking about the Galaxy S7 Edge camera without showing you some sample shots taken with the Galaxy S7 Edge. So let's take a look at some of the shots I took with the Galaxy S7 Edge. Please note that none of these images are edited. Enjoy! Now that you have seen the amazing camera quality of the device, let's move on to the next impressive part of the Galaxy S7 Edge and that's the battery life. I have been a Galaxy Note user since the original Galaxy Note and I have seen great battery life over the years. But the Galaxy S7 Edge has kept a new benchmark for having amazing battery life. 
the Galaxy S7 Edge gave me 4 to 5 hours or sometimes even 6 plus hours of screen on time even after heavy use. I have over 300 apps installed on my phone and I'm always using my phone for something. I tweet constantly and I check in quite a lot. So if with heavy use I can get that far, with medium use anyone can easily get even more. Anyway, even with heavy use, you can expect a full day's use from the Galaxy S7 Edge. I was tweeting all the details about the battery life on a regular basis on Twitter during the review period and you will see how amazing the results are if you check out my Twitter. I'm on Twitter at Banu Atralia. I'll have a link below for you to check out some of my past tweets of the Galaxy S7 Edge. Samsung made full use of the 3600mAh battery and it has made my experience with the Galaxy S7 Edge so much better. No complaints whatsoever regarding the battery life on the Galaxy S7 Edge from me. It is perfect as it is. The Galaxy S7 Edge also supports fast charging with a fast charger both wired and wirelessly. I wanted to test the claims and I tested the device charge times multiple times and all the results are available on my Twitter page. In summary, the Galaxy S7 Edge did quite well. I also received this wireless charging battery pack cover as a pre-order gift for purchasing the Galaxy S7 Edge from Samsung Sri Lanka, which I have found to be quite handy. Yes, it is bulky, but it adds some variation to my use with the Galaxy S7 Edge. I really like that. I would like to thank Samsung Sri Lanka for hooking me up with this awesome deal. The Galaxy S7 Edge is getting all the praise here because it got most of the important things right. Good display, great battery life, great performance, brilliant camera and water resistance along with other extra tweaks. If you're looking for the best flagship smartphone available right now and if budget is not an issue, then look no further. The Galaxy S7 Edge deserves to be in your pocket right now. Samsung made very little sacrifices for their main flagship of 2016 and it is the reason why the Galaxy S7 Edge is selling quite well. It's not just another Galaxy this time around. The Galaxy S7 Edge is the best Galaxy out yet.